Hello students, in my previous video I have explained up to question number 7 of 11b and in this video I am going to start from question number 9 because question number 8 is not there in your syllabus. Now question number 9 is construct a triangle similar to a given triangle with sides 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm and whose sides are 3 fifth of the corresponding sides of the given triangle. Let me show the steps now. As given in the question that we have to draw a triangle of length 5, 12 and 13 centimeters. So let me draw a rough figure here. Suppose this is 13 centimeters because it is always better to keep the longest side as the base and this one 12 centimeters and this one 5 centimeters. Okay, so this is the triangle that we have to draw this side 5, this side 12 and this side is 13 centimeters. For this, I am going to draw two line segments of length 5 and 12 first. So, first of all, you draw a line segment of length 5 and 12. So, here I have drawn a line segment of length 5. This is 5 cm. And I have drawn another line segment of length 12 cm here. Okay, so first one is 5 cm. And second one is 12 cm. As these sides are 5 cm and 12 cm, so I have drawn a line segment of length 5 cm here and 12 cm here. Now I am going to draw the base. Base is 13 cm. As base is 13 cm, so I am drawing a line segment of length 13 cm. So this is 13 cm. Okay, so this is the base. Now after drawing this 13 cm, we have to draw these two sides. This is 12, this is 5. And just because this is 12, so we are measuring this 12 cm. And after measuring this 12 cm, just measure this much. And from this point, you have to draw an arc. From this point, you draw an arc. We have drawn this arc by taking radius 12 cm. Now, from this point, I will draw another arc of radius 5 cm. So, I will measure 5 cm now. So, this is 5 cm. After measuring this length, from this point, from this point, I am drawing another arc. Now, we are to join this point, this point and this point. For this, first join these two points. And now this point and this corner point. So we got the triangle with sides. This one is 13 centimeter, this one is 12 centimeter, and this one is 5 centimeter. Since no name is given, we can consider suppose it is A, B, C. So this point will be A, this point will be B, and this point will be C. So first part is done. We have constructed the triangle with sides 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm. Now we have to draw a triangle whose sides are 3 fifth of the corresponding sides of this triangle. Now out of these two, 5 is the bigger value. I am drawing one ray here. From this point, you draw one ray and we have to locate 5 points in it. For this, we are locating from starting from B. We are drawing some arcs from this point. We draw five arcs one, two, three, four, and five. In this way, we have to mark five points. Why? Because out of this three and five, 5 is the bigger value, that's why we have located 5 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can name this one, suppose D1, this is D2, this is D3, D4 and D5. Okay, now out of this 3 and 5, the value which is in the denominator is 5. So with the value which is at the denominator, with that point we have to join C. So, we will join point D5 with C. Okay, whatever value is in the denominator, 
with that point we have to draw and see now we have to draw an angle at third point which is equal to the angle at fifth point that means here we have to draw an angle whose measure is equal to this angle and for this we have to draw an arc you take any radius don't take too big i have drawn one arc with the same measurement from the third point we have to draw another arc radius should be same now measure this distance from this point up to this much and after taking this much distance again cut from this point here now if i join this point and this that is d3 with this point i am going to get a line which will be parallel to this line you can check this line and this line are parallel now what we have to do we have to draw an angle at this point equal to angle at point c for this exactly same way we have to draw one arc here here with any measurement you can draw so we have taken this much radius with the same measurement from this point from this point we have to draw another arc now measure this distance with the same measurement cut from here okay now this point and this point we are to join now if i join these two points i am going to get one line segment which is parallel to this line so this previously drawn triangle is a b c we can name this one as a1 we can name this one as c1 so a1 b c1 is the required triangle so we have to mention therefore triangle a1 b c1 is the required triangle so this construction is quite similar to the previous constructions i hope this one is clear let me show you the next construction now now in question number 10 it is given construct a triangle similar to a given isosceles triangle pqr with qr equal to 6 cm pr equals to pq equal to 5 cm such that each of its sides is 6/7 of the corresponding side of the triangle pqr so we have to draw an isosceles triangle with two equal sides 5 cm and base 6 cm as given in the question let me draw one rough figure in this triangle here we have considered suppose this is p this is q and this is r and as given in the question qr equal to 6 cm this is 6 and pr equals to pq equal to 5 cm so this is 5 this is 5 so i am drawing a line segment of length 5 cm here so this is 5 cm okay so this is 5 now here base is 6 cm so we are drawing a line segment of length 6 cm this is the base this is 6 and two equal sides are 5 cm each so we are going to measure this 5 cm and after measuring this length after measuring this length we are going to draw two arcs first from this point here again with the same measurement from this point here now join this point with this so if i join i am going to get a line segment here similarly if i join here also i am going to get another line segment so we got the triangle pqr this point is p this point is q and this point is r we have to draw another triangle whose sides are 6/7 okay so for this we have to draw a ray here let me draw one ray here out of this 6 and 7 7 is the bigger value so we have to locate seven points in it So for this we are locating seven points from here. Don't take too big. So first point, 
सेकेंड पॉइंट थर्ड पॉइंट फोर्थ पॉइंट फिफ्थ पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंथ पॉइंट तो इन दिस वे वी लोकेटेड सेवेन पॉइंट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स एंड सेवन सेवन इज द बिगर वैल्यू दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू लोकेट सेवन पॉइंट्स सो आउट ऑफ सिक्स एंड सेवन सेवन इज इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो सेवन पॉइंट वी हैव टू जॉइन विथ आर सो जॉइन दिस सेवन पॉइंट विथ आर we can name this one as suppose c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 in this way locate seven points after that we have to draw an angle at the six point which is equal to the angle at seven point so for this draw one arc here with the same measurement draw an angle in the six position from this six point we have to draw another arc now measure this angle with the same measurement from this point we have to cut and then these two points are to be joined so we are going to get this line as you can see these two lines are parallel and it must be parallel because these corresponding angles are equal now we have to draw an angle at this point which is equal to angle at r for this you draw an arc you draw an arc with the same measurement from this point from this particular point you have to draw another arc okay now measure this much after measuring this distance cut from this point and join these two points this point and this point now we have to join this point and this point so we got this line segment now previously drawn triangle it was pqr we can name this one as p1 q and this point as r1 so p1 q r1 will be the required triangle so you just write therefore p1 q r1 is the required triangle i hope this construction is clear first we have drawn the triangle p q r with q r equal to 6 cm p q and p r equal to 5 cm and then we have drawn this similar triangle p1 q r1 whose sides are 6 by 7th of the corresponding sides of p q r i hope this construction is clear now if you see question number 11 in question number 11 it is given that constructed triangle similar to a given isosceles triangle p q r with q r equal to 5 cm P R equal to R Q equal to six centimeter, such that each of its sides is three foot of the corresponding sides of triangle P Q R. So this construction is almost same as this one, only values are different. So this one you can do it yourself. Similarly, question number twelve, construct a triangle similar to a given isosceles triangle with these sides, and you have to do another triangle whose sides are five by seven of the corresponding sides of P Q R. So number ten, eleven, twelve, they are. same construction only values are different so i think number 11 and 12 you can do it yourself and in my next video i am going to show from question number 13 onwards so practice these two constructions and that's all for today bye bye take care